guys so today's video is a little haul and it is my monthly um birch box and glam bag i thought i would start doing a little bit of a haul on these so you can see what products i got and then i thought that after i show you guys what i got this month i will show you the products that i loved in recent months birch boxes that i have just been loving so i thought that was a good way to kind of review some of the products that i'm getting and that way you can see if i really do like the things that they're sending me because there's really no point in getting it if you're not going to really use what they give you so i'll do my birch box first and this month is the glamour edition for glamour magazine so they have this cute little outer packaging I guess and then in here so it comes with a little bit of a card just looks like the outer packaging again and then we've got the tissue paper so first there is a nail polish and this is from color club this is in the shade blooming and looks like this it is a pretty minty turquoisey color um and I've never used this brand um, color club before, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Minty's Regroup Tea Mints for Focus in Ginger Pear. So that looks like this. And I guess I'll open them. I think they're just mints that I guess are supposed to taste like tea. But, um, I don't know. I don't really like gingers or pears. Um, I love tea, but ginger is definitely like... Probably like my least favorite flavor ever. <laughs> so we'll see how these go. I mean like normally things like this don't actually taste like what they say they're going to taste like. So I may end up liking them. Let me... Oh my god. So hard to open. Okay. Uh, okay, I got it. <laughs> and pop it open. So they look like this. I'll just pull one out. It looks like this. It's like a little leaf. Okay, I'm going to eat one. I don't think I like these. <laughs> okay, well, other people may like them. I think I'll give this to my friend. I think she'll like them. Um, and I'll let you know if she likes them. Maybe it's just me. I just don't like ginger at all. So, but it doesn't really taste like ginger. It just tastes kind of bad. Um, <laughs> this. Um, Irresistibly Wicked O oh Flirt by Harvey Prince, and it is just a little fragrance sample, so that's fun. Let's see, what does this smell like? It smells kind of like a grown-up version of like a fruity perfume that you would buy when you're a kid, um, but I'll let you guys know how that goes when I wear it for real. And then it just came with two little samples of the Super Goop um, sunscreen, which are great. Um, I always need sunscreen, and it's always good to have this. And it's a serum, which I'm actually really, really excited about because it hopefully it won't be quite as heavy as normal sunscreen is, and it won't be quite as sticky on your skin. So I'm excited to use that. I may save this for a vacation, though. Then the last beauty product is this Ico London pen. It's an eyeliner pen. And I swatched it right there. So it gives me a pretty thin line. I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I have been loving the eyeliner pen that I got in my glam bag, I think, last month. I've been obsessed with it. And I've just been, like, obsessed with liquid liner and the way it looks. And I've never, ever, ever liked liquid liner before. So um, I'm really excited to get another one because the one that I got last month or maybe two months ago, is almost out, and I was thinking about buying the Stila one, but now I can try this one out, and I'm excited because, I don't know, it's like they knew that I needed another one. And then last, it came with headphones, which, considering I feel like this box was, besides this eyeliner, it's a kind of lacking in, like, stuff. It doesn't really have very much stuff in it, but um, since they did give you, like, real headphones, it's like a you know, real pair. I don't really know how you could give, like, a sample size pair of headphones. But since it's, you know, they're, like, glamour headphones, so they're, like, pink and blue and they're pretty. So I'll, maybe, hopefully, these are good, but... Yeah. So, came with those. So that's the last thing that I got in that. Okay, then the glam bag. And this is the bag that it came in this month. It's kind of a clear-looking bag with some stripes on it. It's pink. 
it's kind of cute i like it um last month it came with this like awful gaudy like glittery gold clutch bag sort of but it was really cheaply made so it just looked bad i feel like this probably costs the same amount of money to make but since it's not trying to look super expensive like you know it just doesn't look bad <laughs> but last month it just didn't look good so the first thing it came with is this Josie Moran um, um, stain pen it is a magic marker lip and cheek stain quick step I think it's the shade so I swatched it earlier now I have three swatches of the exact same color so it just looks like that and I actually really like this it's like a dark kind of maroon color but it I can tell it's gonna look really good on my lips without looking like I'm trying too hard um, and looking at the pin, it kind of looks like it's like, when I first got it, it kind of looked like it was dried out, but I don't think it is. I think it just looked like that. Then it came with this little package, and inside is this white nail polish from Circus by Andrea's Choice, who I think is a YouTuber too. It's just a white nail polish. I don't really wear white nail polish, but um, I'm going to try this out just to see what the formulation is like. It came with that. Then it came with the Numi Hydrating Conditioner Hydro Punch for dry or colored hair. So it's just a sample size of a conditioner. And it's like a deep conditioner, so um, I'll probably save this and take it on vacation because I find that the hardest thing for me is that I don't have a lot of travel size like deep conditioners. Um, my hair really needs them. So this will be good to have. Hopefully it's good. Then I am super, super excited about this. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Lotion. And it's a pretty good size. And I have never tried anything from Kiehl's, but I've always wanted to. I've heard such good things about it, but it is pretty pricey. So I'm super, super excited to have this. And I did have a really great moisturizer that I got in last month's Birch Box that I'm almost done with. So I'm excited to have this to replace it. And then I may decide to buy one of them. I was thinking about buying the one I got last month. Now that I have this one, I'm going to try this one out, so that's exciting. It's like they know what I need. And then um, I got this pack of Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Facial Towelettes. And I think two or three months ago, I got the Yes to Blueberries Facial Towelettes in my glam bag, and I just traveled with those, and they worked really well, so I'm probably just going to save these for travel because it's a smaller package than the Neutrogena ones. And then here's the bag. So that's everything I got this month in my glam bag, and I'm actually really excited about that. Um, so I think I've got some really cool products to try. And then on to the stuff that I loved from last month. Um, and I cannot guarantee that all this stuff is from last month. In fact, I know that not all of it is, but I'm sorry. Um, from now on, I'm going to start doing these more regularly, and from now on I will do, um, you know, just monthly but since this is the first one, it's a little bit messed up. So first is this Philosophy Moisturizer, and it is called Take a Deep Breath, and it is an oil-free, energizing oxygen gel cream moisturizer, which is a little bit of an oxymoron, but I tried a gel moisturizer earlier this year, and I finished it all, but I really didn't like it very much. But I loved this. Um, I have a little bit left. I use it every morning and night. Um, and I'm considering purchasing it. If I purchase it, I'll probably just use it during the daytime. But um, I really, really liked it. It's really refreshing and light on your skin, but it gives you a lot of moisture. So my skin isn't super oily after using this, but it just absorbs nicely and it moisturizes my skin. I don't get any dry patches. I just really, really love this. So I would highly recommend this. And the sample lasts me a really long time, too. Then I have two eyeliners, and the first is this Marbella Permanent Eyeliner Pen. And I am obsessed with this pen. It is so, so nice. It works like a dream. And I have never used an eyeliner pen before, and I've never really used liquid liner. I think I've used, like, a Wet n Wild liner just to do false eyelashes, like, once. But, um, it looks like that. It's kind of running out of ink. But, um... I just really really liked this and it was really easy to use it stayed on all day it looks nice so I really enjoyed this a lot and I'm happy I got it then this Stila liner in Lionfish um, you can't really see any more of it it kind of just died and there isn't really any product left I don't really know okay there we go 
but it's pretty much all gone but that's what it looks like and what i really like about this liner there's nothing super super remarkable about it i don't really like this twist up applicator mostly because it just kind of died and i couldn't see how much was left or anything but it um what i really loved about this is that it's like a bronzy shimmery brown eyeliner with a little bit of shimmer in it so it really makes my brown eyes stand out when i wear it it doesn't look like you're trying too hard because you're just wearing like a brown liner um and it's not even pen it's not even liquid liner it's just a pencil liner it's very simple so it looks really easy and effortless but it really makes my brown eyes pop and i think it would make any eye color pop really but i really like this so if you guys know of any eyeliners that have that are brown and have a little bit of shimmer in them and a little bit bronzy you know um i am looking for a new one i didn't absolutely love the way that this like applied and like you know the formula of it but i absolutely love the shade of it so if you guys know of any similar shades let me know and then last is this zoya nail polish i've never tried zoya nail polish before but i loved this one this is in bevan okay it's not gonna focus <laughs> but it is just kind of like a turquoisey sea foamy i don't even know how to describe it but it's super super pretty and what I love about this, I wore this on my toes pretty much all month last month, and I will probably do that again soon. But um, what I love about this is that it's really, really opaque. Um, just like one coat, and it goes on super, super smooth. And I did like two coats with it just because I like to do two coats, but you could just get away with doing one coat. And I find that that's not common with a lot of nail polishes, but that's something I really like. And it um, gets shiny really nicely. It doesn't require a top coat, which... As I have mentioned before, I'm very lazy with top coats. I will do it, um, especially if I have time, but if I don't have time and I'm usually painting my toes in a rush, um, I like nail polish that can just kind of look shiny on its own and just seal itself, basically. So, yes, Zoya nail polish. Loved this. So that's everything that I got in my birch box and my glam bag this month. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you like, I will continue to do these on a monthly basis so you can see what I liked in my previous ones, and if you want, I can talk about the products that I didn't like because I don't always like the products that they sent me. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.